What's going on guys, welcome to the channel and if you're new here, welcome, welcome. Today we're going to be talking about Keller and Beck, but before we do start that, remember hit the subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know. Also, I have a membership program, there's three tiers to that, make sure you go check it out and make sure to join as that's great support towards the channel. And as always, once you're done watching this video, go check out my last one, give it a thumbs up as you watch. Let's start the show. Star Wars has finally revealed who saved Grogu, and that is of Color and Beck, which we already know about, right? We're already a couple days out from episode four of season three. But Best spoke to StarWars.com, and this is what he had to say. I see Kelleran as this journeyman Jedi who becomes a professor, who wants to be a teacher, not a reluctant teacher, not someone who's thrown into teaching, who wants to influence, who wants to show Padawans how to become a greater version of themselves. Now, this certainly explains why Beck would risk so much to save Grogu as evidence in The Mandalorian Season 3, Episode 4. This backstory stems from Best's first appearance as the character in the children's game of Star Wars Jedi Temple Challenges, which was a children's show. The Mandalorian effectively canonized this character, which makes this character so much more fascinating. And you can tell Bess is so happy to be back as, you know, we know that he plays the iconic role of Jar Jar Binks and he had been facing a lot of challenges after playing that role a lot of backlash was given and it's really really sad it's kind of like when hayden christensen reprised his role as anakin and came back and the fans were happy to, and excited to see that as now ahmed best is back for more but not just as jar jar binks as a jedi master and this is exciting to see but with Ahmed Best talking about the character he still you could tell wants this story to continue now we know it's no secret that there is more to tell concerning Grogu especially from the past and given that at the end of this flashback in the Mandalorian season 3 episode 4 it's still not over especially now that it's 25 years before Din finds him in the Mandalorian meaning finding Grogu I mean this could open the door for Ahmed Best wish to be granted and continue building Keller and Beck's story. Now, this could be done either in a spin-off centered entirely around Keller and Beck and Grogu's journey during the dark times or in future episodes of The Mandalorian. Regardless, the reaction of Ahmed Best's triumphant return as Keller and Beck in The Mandalorian Season 3 Episode 4, it has certainly been a positive one for sure and it would be a delight to see more of Keller and Beck's tale to continue either in the Mandoverse or it could be a prequel especially during the time of the Bad Batch and it could be something where he can show up in animation he could show up in live action again it could be where again I I think personally me I, I would love to see it be live action put him in or just put him in anything to be honest with you he's such a cool character I really am happy for him because he received like I said before a lot of bad backlash and he deserves all of the praise that he's getting right now but I truly think I would love to see this if they do a spin-off show and they do like a show of Keller on back and Grogu and maybe he trains Grogu and we finally learn what why did Grogu forget a lot of the stuff that he once knew and it could be that we see the demise of Keller and Beck's story come at the hands of Darth Vader as we know that this is the time especially if we're talking about right after Revenge of the Sith time we know that in the comic run series that Darth Vader is hunting down Jedi so what better way to come and incorporate Keller and Beck's story and not just about Keller and Beck Darth Vader as well and he ends up wiping him out as he's wiping out all the Jedi. But comment down below, let me know what you think about today's news. And if you would want to see a series or mini series on Keller and Beck's story, post Revenge of the Sith and including none other than Darth Vader as well. Thank you so much for tuning in today, guys. Remember for more Star Wars content, hit that subscribe, like, and notification bell so you're always in the know as I have another video out tomorrow. And don't forget to join my membership program as I have three tiers to that. And as always, remember the Eternal Sith then, now, forever. Later, guys.